Here's just a test of the SG3524 PWM chip that I'm using for the inverter portion of my Maxim PowerPoint charge controller project because it's going to have, a, at least the very fancy version of it, it's going to have a built-in inverter. Um, anyways, this is a, a test of it as I'm going to be using it to drive the um, output H bridge and the transformer drive for a output or a low frequency version of it using a um, where the output is just taken directly off the secondary of a transformer although the main version of it is going to have a um, potential converter type converter for um, reasons of compactness and anyways this is the output of the SG3524 because the SG3524 has a pair of BJTs at the outputs or as the outputs and those can be configured in a number of different ways, um, like one hot, the other neutral, the, uh, or one tied to hot, like for example push-pull um, type outputs, um, totem pole, various configurations. Uh, the way I have this configured is that the, um, is just the outputs are being used as an open emitter, where Pin 12 and pin 13, which are the collectors of each of each transistor, are tied to a local 12 volt hot, and the emitters are tied to ground through a pair of 4,700 ohm potential or 4,700 ohm resistors. And the waveforms on the oscilloscope are just the potentials at the emitters of the two transistors. Up there, I just have a math uh, graph. It's um. Channel 1 minus channel 2, that's just what the output of the inverter is going to look like. And uh, for this particular chip I have it configured in um, constant duty cycle mode. And I just have a, a trim pot to adjust the duty cycle. And that is for the one that is going to be driving the output inverter, which is, uh, or the output H bridge, which is this SG3524 on the board. That one's mostly done, except I need to replace that jumper wire with a, about 50,000 odd ohms of resistance. Probably the 47,000 ohm resistor just to be on the simple side. Then down here I've got the uh, control circuit for the potential converter a transformer drive. There's a space for a TC4426 um, a dual MOSFET driver and uh, there's a bunch of this hasn't really been finished yet because I still need to look up exactly how to use a um, or the specific circuitry for using the um, SG3524 as a um, uh, switch mode uh, transformer driver because this is only a partial data sheet, it's only the first uh, five pages. Uh, so there's a bunch of, a bunch of it hasn't really been connected. And uh, up here I've got space for the comparators and operational amplifiers and stuff that are going to be needed for things like over potential, uh, shutdown, um, Overcurrent shutdown, etc., etc. I am going to have a current foldback um, because both the SG3524 is capable of overcurrent shutdown because it's got a um, a current sense input, or if it detects the 200 millivolt potential difference between the two between the uh, differential inputs on the current sensing amplifier, it can uh, reduce the duty cycle, and I'm going to have that configured with um a, um, a uh, don't remember the part number, but some rail-to-rail -rail, um, operational amplifiers, some New Japan rectifier parts, or might see if I can use TL0 ones, but uh, anyways, that's stuff for a future update video. But the reason for that is just because um, just using a 200 millivolt uh, or just using a sense resistor and taking output off of that would require 
a great deal of there'd be a great deal of power loss just from uh, the uh, fairly high currents involved. So I'm just going to use a rail-to-rail -rail operational amplifier just to boost it to reduce the power uh, dissipated in the sense resistors, which also improves system efficiency, lowers operating temperature, etc., etc., for stuff like that. But anyways. That's pretty much it for now.